The offseason is here for the Tennessee Titans, and we're going to keep you guys updated all throughout it on free agency, which we'll dive into on today's video. The draft, rumors, news, trades, all of it. This is your one-stop shop for everything you could want on the Tennessee Titans. Help us get to 3,000 subscribers. Hit that big red button if you haven't already. You're watching Tennessee Titans today. I am Tom Downey here with the look at some free agent targets for Tennessee. Now, we'll spend plenty of time this offseason focused on the free agency side for Tennessee. But as things sit, before they re-sign their own guys, four needs to keep an eye out for. I could have included center here. I don't really think they're going to lose Ben Jones, so I left him off, at least for the time being. Receiver is a big one, thanks to Julio Jones and not much else. You could argue edge rusher, but Harold Landry, not that hard. Tight end certainly is a big one. If they want to get wild, you could look at quarterback and maybe linebacker, given that some of your top guys, Jay, or Jay and Brown or Sean Evans, are free agents at the current moment. So with that in mind, what do you think is the biggest need for the Tennessee Titans this offseason? Is it receiver, linebacker, tight end, something else all to their offensive line could certainly qualify in that general area. I'm going to make this the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get the ad break here at YouTube, on YouTube, take advantage of it. As the ad plays, head down there, head to the pinned comment, and let me know what you think the biggest Titans need is this offseason. We're going to focus on free agents, receivers to start here. Devontae Adams, how can you not mention the maybe the not maybe the best free agent this year? He is awesome. He and A.J. Brown unquestionably would form the number one wide receiver duo in the NFL, but he's going to be very expensive, even if he is franchise tagged or not franchise tagged, by the Green Bay Packers. And if you pay Devontae Adams even, say, $28 million, A.J. Brown might want, like, $20 million. Do you want to pay $55 million per year for two receivers? Uh, I'm not sure that you can. So what do you think? Would you pay big money for Devontae Adams. Type in Y for yes you would or N for no you would not. Now Chris Godwin fills a similar mold in terms of the, the, it, the cost of a deal. Maybe a little bit less coming off the injury. If you want to spend big on a receiver, you're probably not going to be able to afford Devontae Adams. Chris Godwin though could be a good name to keep an eye out for. By low candidate next up here in Allen Robinson. His production was way down this year but Robinson and AJ Brown a Rob is a little bit older but outside this year has always 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 been profoundly productive in the NFL is at least a name to keep an eye out for Mike Williams which would be funny because you, you took Corey Davis and the Mike Williams draft and now Williams is a free agent you lost Corey Davis last year probably a bit too expensive for what the Titans could really afford Christian Kirk might be a nice under the radar name because he very quietly, nearly put up a thousand yard season. So again, cost might be a bit of an issue there for Kirk, but I think he's a decent name to keep an eye out for. All right, some other receivers to watch here. Michael Gallup is a really interesting name on maybe a Kenny Galladay light deal. He's coming off his own injury. Cowboys want to keep him, but they've got a bunch of friends, including Cedric Wilson, who would be a cheaper option in the slot. How about Juju Smith-Schuster? By the way, does he want to take a one-year, six, seven million dollar deal? Go prove it. If so, I'm intrigued by that one. I don't think Odell Beckham wants to go play in Tennessee. He seems to really be a a big market, but he's redeemed himself in a pretty spectacular fashion so far. And A.J. Green, I don't love him. I think he's a bit washed up at this point. But if you want to go vet receiver, well, you can go A.J. Green for trying the Julio Jones route in the end. Now, there are a lot of receivers Tennessee could go sign. We will hit more names in the future, but we're going all the different positions today. If you want more free agency videos on Tennessee, hit that big red button and subscribe right now. Let's go look at tight end free agent targets now here for Tennessee. Rob Gronkowski, big time name. Does he want to play without Tom Brady? Gronk's had such a long career. You'd want to bring him in. 
I wonder, though, if he's going to elect to just say, ah, I'll go where Brady goes, even if that is to retirement once again. Zach Ertz next up here. He is on the decline. He doesn't offer you anything after the catch, but he is a name to keep an eye out for if they want to go with a more proven veteran talent. There were certainly plenty of trade rumors around Ertz before he got dealt to Arizona. How about Jimmy Graham of the Bears? Big name. He wasn't that good in Chicago. Uh, he's, I just, I don't know if I really want to go after Jimmy Graham. We're looking at more affordable options here for the most part at tight end. So if you're going to pay Jimmy Graham anything, honestly, I'd rather go get a Dalton Schultz from the Cowboys. A, I mean, he's expensive, but it would at least intrigue me. A Mike Gesicki of the Dolphins, for example. A nice little blend of the more expensive names of Schultz and Gesicki and the cheaper names of Jimmy Graham. How about CJ Yazama? Just saw him have a nice playoff stretch. Dealing with a minor injury right now for Cincinnati. They got to pay T. Higgins and Jamar Chase in the near future. They might not pay C.J. Uzama big money. And then the most intriguing name on this list, the one I would love the most, David Njoku. I don't think he's going to be that expensive to sign in free agency. I think you could bring him in and make him your tight end one and get great value on a cheap deal. A lesser version of this is maybe an, an O.J. Howard here. But Njoku is the name I'm most intrigued by specifically for what Tennessee wants to do. He can block. He showed that in Cleveland this past year as far as I'm concerned. All right, quarterback. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not good. Um, Jameis Winston was uh, the different quarterback in New Orleans. Lower completion percentage still, but great touchdown interception ratio, fewer yards. Teddy Bridgewater is what he is. He is a good bridge quarterback but he's not a franchise guy ryan fitzpatrick i wonder if he's done at this point didn't play at all this year for washington andy dalton is he is what he is he's a great backup he's not a guy you want starting game at this point cam newton i wonder if he's kind of cooked as well i don't really think any of these guys are better than ryan Tannehill. now if you were to trade Tannehill, which well that's right you want to go and then sign one of those guys and draft somebody. Okay, I could get on board with that. You inject a lot of risk. I would be more interested in trading a big for a big name, the Jared Goff, Matthew Stafford type of deal in Tennessee. But I'm underwhelmed by the free agency crop this year in a pretty big way. So what do you think? Should the Titans sign a starting quarterback? Or yes, sign a backup, sure. But a starting quarterback in free agency. Type in Y for yes, they should. Or type in N for no, they should not. I'm going to cheat now with my linebacker free agent targets. Here's some edge rushers and some off-ball guys. So if you lose Harold Landry, step one, don't lose Harold Landry. Von Miller, Chandler Jones, two, I think would actually be cheaper veteran targets for you at edge rusher. We'll see what Von Miller decides to do. I'm trying to win a title, of course, right now with the Rams. Chandler Jones wants big-time money. Both those guys deserve it. I'd rather pay Harold Landry. Anthony Barr and Donta Hightower both can blitz and cover. They're kind of more of that new age linebacker. Hightower would be a fantastic fit in Tennessee. We know that there's the connection there with Mike Vrabel. Dark horse name to keep an eye out for there. And then if you want a potentially cheaper, pure off-ball linebacker, Leighton Vander Esch, who was much better down the stretch for Dallas, is the guy to keep an eye out for. So I want you now to name a player who you think the Tennessee Titans should go out and sign. Let me know in the comments section. Any player, any current team, let me know in the comments. All right, some notable Titans free agents here. How about center Ben Jones? I would simply bring him back, make him my guy. Harold Landry, the off-ball linebacker, the edge, the edge rusher, who I, is fantastic. I love him. Uh, off-ball linebackers, both for Sean Evans and uh, J.N. Brown. Evans, of course, the former first-round pick. Two tight ends, Anthony Ferksker, Jeff Swaim. We'll see if they end up cutting Julio Jones. It would make some sense, I think, to do so, but that remains up in the air. Simply put, keep Harold Landry, keep Ben Jones, and your needs can focus on upgrading your roster versus trying to replace some of your better players.